Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an exciting video which is my first design team project for Victoria Designs. If you don't know them, they are a huge Etsy shop with loads of beautiful printables uh, and digitals for your journals. I will leave the link below but especially like if you're interested in botanical and vintage vibes you will definitely find something there for you. And um, the first kit that they uh, provided me with to work with was this Bugs project pack and it's a huge kit and it's also so gorgeous that even though I am the person who uh, really does not like bugs in real life I love this kit and I really wanted uh, to work with it and to show it to you guys so the link to the kit is also in the description if you're interested in this particular set they are offering I think for two days a, uh, a huge discount it's like 70% and also just in case you're interested in something like that I'm also linking their mailing list you can subscribe to it receive free crafting gift and some cool stuff some updates some discounts from them so if this is something you think you might be interested in just uh, check it out and I thought for today we could work with their ephemera from this kit, this all that you can see here comes in this one kit and I love the ephemera in this kit and I thought we could make the uh, sort of how to use digital ephemera and make it your own thing um, because if you've watched my previous videos you know I, I rarely use digital uh, ephemera the way it, it is. I do sometimes and it's absolutely there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, it what it was designed for uh, but I just like to add a little twig juice it up a little bit more and make it sort of my own so this uh, magnifying glass immediately caught my eye and I think we are going to do something fun with this and also this notebook page sort of is so cute and it begs to be like a notebook or a journaling card and have something fun made with it also so this might also be what we work with but just there are so many different so many different items here and I love the torn edges uh, so yeah so I'm really I'm really looking forward to working with this kit I'm actually um thinking about making some woodland journals when i am finished with my ephemera uh, with my um custom orders <laughs> so uh so i just thought this would be perfect because it has all the beautiful earthy tones and it looks vintage and botanical and just just so pretty so let me cut this magnifying glass out and let's see what we can make with it okay so i have it cut out and it's such a fun piece of ephemera of course you can glue it on a page and just kind of use it as a decoration but what i was thinking was how about we make an envelope and we cut this part out and we make a window out of it not sure if it makes sense but let's see if we can do it uh i've kind of been on an envelope kick lately uh which if you've seen my previous video you will know why <laughs> uh this is the paper part that i have this is gardenia and it has some beautiful garden papers but it also has some bugs and some woodland pages so i thought we could choose something from this paper pack to use um as a base for uh, for the envelope. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, and it has like um, dragonflies and butterflies on the other side and some bugs. So it's actually perfect. Okay. 
And this time I'm going to use a punch board, uh, but in my last video I showed you three simple ways how to make envelopes without using a punch board. This time I just want to make sure my magnifying glass kind of fits on an envelope and my punch board gives me all the measurements so I know it well. And I want to cut this paper to size. So this is going to be 25 centimeters, 25 and a half, so about 10 inches by 10 inches. Okay, so now we just follow the instructions on the punch board. And I think I might actually want this to be the, the side, uh, the outside of my envelope because it's not, it's not as busy as the other side and the other side will be uh, seen when we open the envelope. So that's, that's going to look pretty cool, I think. Okay, so I have my envelope template, sort of. I cut it, I cut, um, rounded the corners with my uh, corner rounder and did the notches using the, the, the rounder, the corner rounder or the punch that was, um, that was uh, sold with my, uh, with my punch pot. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to be gluing it as of yet. I, I don't like how this is sticking out, so let me fold it, maybe even a little bit more. Okay, is this even, like, not, not bad, just like this. Okay, I like that much better. See, this is a cute envelope and a cute paper. <laughs> okay, and so here's what I was thinking. We would have our magnifying glass here or here, something like that. And we would cut this part out of the magnifying glass and the, the envelope with a die. I'm going to use a die because uh, because I think that's that's quicker. You can use a craft knife if you don't have a die. Just I think it would help to have a kind of a template for this, um, so that uh, well, cutting circles is not that easy, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so how would I want this positioned? Um, I'm thinking about what I want to add to this, uh, to this envelope also, you know, like some label, or maybe like this. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to take my Sizzix machine right here on my desk and I'm first going to to go with the, the magnifying glass. I don't need to, to do both pieces at the same time. I'm just going to take just a bit of washi tape to position uh, my die and <laughs> to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't move. And this washi tape isn't very sticky, so I'm not too worried, you know, about it ripping uh, the, the page when I try to remove it. Just want a little bit of security and I think, yeah, I think this die may actually be a little bit too small, but even if we have an outline, uh, I don't think it's going to look bad. Okay, let's see what we've got. All right, so here is our magnifying glass with this little piece oh, cut out, which is cute. We could make a cute embellishment out of this 
actually, which we might do. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to do the same for my envelope, just cut a hole. But because my Sizzix is like only for a five paper, I'm going to have to kind of work around here. So I want this like that. Okay, so here's what I'm what uh, I'm doing. If your sheet of paper is too big for your Sizzix, uh, then just kind of wrap it around one of the plates, the, the plate that you have uh, on the bottom. So I'm just going to wrap my uh, envelope sides like this. This one I had to fold um, up here, um, but I made sure my circle is not going to cut through this part. So, <clears throat> and it did wrinkle the top of my envelope here, but um, I'm not going to worry about it. I I never worry too much about things being torn or wrinkled in my journals. I actually like the look and I think it makes them more grungy and just rustic maybe. And handmade, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so here is our envelope and we have our window here and I think this is going to be so cute. Hmm. So let me, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to glue it straight on so that we can see, you know, what we, what we need next. We have to think about what to put in, uh, in the, in the window. Like you could put vellum, you could put acetate, uh, you could even put like baking paper, I think. I saw someone do it, maybe it was Gina from the Firefly Studio, but will someone put baking paper, this brown baking paper in, in the window uh, of the envelope and it looked really cool. Um, you could even, you know, put like a book page and then it wouldn't be a window, it's sort of a see-through window, but it would be an added interest to your page. So I have these uh, pieces of vellum. <clears throat> I was trying some inks on them and I was thinking we could use, we could use some of this, this is gorgeous some of this but I like the purple too yeah, definitely green so this would go in my window like whatever piece we choose and I actually like this this part here so let me roughly cut this out so let's say I want to take this and like this and we will glue it on the other side on the inside of our envelope and to make it easier for myself <clears throat> I will just draw a circle on the on the inside so this is going to be wider than, uh, than my actual window but it will allow me to to glue it, to glue this piece down and obviously the shape doesn't matter here because we are not going to see this. Okay, so this is this, no, um, I'll just say it is the inked one, I think both actually, <laughs> okay, so this I think is how I want it, yeah. So before I glue, let me take my trusty vintage photo <laughs> and ink the edges. Oh, you know what guys, I may actually use something different because this color scheme is quite dark. Well, it's not dark, it's just maybe not as light and colorful as I usually do. So let me use my walnut stain 
which is just a little bit more, well, dark and grungy, I would say. To ink the edges of this. We do have a little bit of the, like the image that was in the middle of the magnifying glass still showing, but I honestly don't mind it at all. And especially now that we're inking, it's, it's not going to stand out that much okay and I'm using my tacky glue and I will probably be sewing around this just for some more added texture but we will see the tacky glue is is good with vellum so even if I don't sew or even if you don't want to sew or use a sewing machine in this project then should be good to go with just using the tacky glue. How cute is that? <laughs> I really like it. I really do. Okay, that's nice and we have the see-through window so when we close our envelope we are going to see a little bit of this pattern uh, from the inside of an envelope and now let's see what could we do to further decorate it so I was thinking some postage stamps right and I do believe I have some some botanical stamps here maybe even some bugs let's let's go through these these are old Pretty dwarf. These are old um, Polish stamps and they have nice um, nice designs on them. So no bugs so far, maybe some some butterflies. This is nice too. Okay, I don't, I probably don't have any bugs, but I still think we could choose something from what we have here. Maybe this, I like the brown. This green is not, not the right green, I would say. This looks pretty too. Well, you know what? I just like, I just like how it looks, so we're not going to do to add any more, maybe just some stamping. And I will just sink this stamp around. I really like it. Um, so let me glue it. And now I think I want to use some stamps, some like postage type stamps. And we did a similar thing uh, in the first episode of, of how to use digital ephemera and make it your own. I think I want these wavy lines, quite sticky. And let me use my arc, although I want black. Maybe I actually want black. Let me use my stays on in black for this. Okay, it's nice. And maybe also one of these. Uh, one of these, this one. Oh, these are sticky. Let's put it here. Okay. Okay, adds character, <laughs> I would say, to to this envelope. Okay. 
next um a label i wanted a label i want because this um pattern that we have this this green paper is a little bit busy and dark i would like um i would like to have some space where you can just write something small so let me let me see Ooh, maybe we could actually use some of Tracy's labels too, sort of to decorate. And I have this one, this one is uh, torn, but of course I decided to to keep it and maybe use it. We can cover this up. Um, how about this? Yeah, I think this might work. And... What else do we have here? How about this one? That's pretty too. Oh, the decisions are the worst. Oh, this looks nice. Because it has a little bit of this reddish brown like we have here and here. But it also has some green. So let's not overthink. And let's just go with this one. <laughs> and how about... Um, how about these? Can we use them? So before I change my mind <laughs> and try to look for something else, I'm just going to glue it. Okay, let's cut this off and I think I might mount the, the main label, the writing label, on the same cheesecloth too. Okay, yeah. I think I like this. So let's see what we have. What we have here. Oh, I like this. I like this leaf trim. Could we use it like in the bottom maybe or on the side? It would look so pretty, I think. Yeah, maybe a little bit here and there. Definitely. Let's leave it. What else? Maybe this. Okay, so let's let's glue down the cheesecloth. I love how it instantly adds character and um, texture to any project. <laughs> so now I'm going to glue down this piece, and we will see about the gold leaf stream trim. Now, what I think I want to do with this would be add just a tiny piece up here. So maybe like two or three leaves. Let's see how, how much we can fit. And I think, ooh, I think it could actually go th like over the window. It would look nice. So let me go with, with this. And I'm going to glue it with my tacky glue, but then again, I'm probably going to be sewing around this envelope, like around here, so it will reinforce it. Okay, I like it a lot. And then on this side, it can be a little longer and it can <clears throat> actually go over the stamp. Let me quickly use my walnut stain to ink around 
the envelope so we can add a little bit of grunginess to it so guys I think I am going to uh, I'm going to sew around this and then we can glue our envelope shut and think about sort of what we want to do to decorate it more <laughs> so I'll be right back right now I just think that with stitching hope you can see it just looks like a finished piece <laughs> sort of so let's think about the front I definitely want to use some of the more of the ephemera from the kit so let me glue down this little bit and I'm going I think I'm going to glue down my envelope now yeah I don't need it open and we will figure out what to do on the front so let's see what we have here on these pages uh, these these pieces that look like they have been burnt or torn they are just so gorgeous we could use some of these this could be a nice closure of this butterfly but let's let's maybe keep looking oh i like the i like the corner um pocket and this one i like this one especially because it's it has this torn look to it and there is also this one mm, yeah i think i might actually go with this pocket so let me uh, i'm going to just cut it out and see if it fits the envelope if it is not too big so let me score it on my little board here nice I love it I love it so this will be such a nice addition here something interactive as I like to add to my projects just some some interest you know mm -hmm. so let me glue down these flaps and I love uh, tuck spots and pockets with with flaps like this because they kind of make it a bit expandable so you have uh, you have more space to put your stuff in okay and now what do we want inside something caught my eye when I was flicking through this there was this one cute notebook Ooh, this one how cute is this could make something with this let me quickly cut it out okay now I want to fold it and I want to see um, if I can decorate the the outside somehow because I think I want this I want this to fold like that so when you open it uh, you have this cute journaling space but what could we do here what could we do do we have anything else in the kit that would oh there is this cute notebook paper this would look nice so maybe I should make it like this and then I would have this inside 
Yeah, I think I like it. Just checking if there is something else, but no, this this is too small. And um, okay, so let me try it with this with this piece. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut it roughly, not being too careful about it. And I am just going to glue my, my piece or maybe I can make it easier for myself because I printed this on quite a, um, quite a thick card. Uh, this is, I think, 180, maybe 90 GSM photo paper. So I think I want to score it first. I'm going to mark where I want it scored. And it will make it easier uh, to close it, to open and, and close this. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this like that because I don't need this piece but definitely keeping it and I will be using it for something else. Yeah, I'm really having fun. I hope you are enjoying this too, just flicking through ephemera in a kit, just figuring out different ways you can use it. You know, it's just something, something different, I think. I love trying to find ways to think outside the box, to do something different, to do something interesting. And it kind of makes me, when I'm making a piece like this and I'm using the, the ephemera that someone else designed and I'm using my own ideas and just adding a little bit of my own to it, it feels a bit like we have collaborated, you know, the, the designer and I, that we have collaborated on making this piece because they did the ephemera uh, and I and I am adding some more to it so that's actually really nice uh, that's a really nice way of looking at it okay I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure I have it stuck down properly. So now I'm going to cut around it and we will see how it looks. It's our little journaling spot. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The front and the back. I love the staining here. And then it opens and you have a secret journaling spot. How cute. Um, I was actually thinking maybe... Do we want to add... Let me score it. Okay. This is so sweet, just poking from here. Uh, what else could we use, guys? I'm, I'm, I'm on the kick here. <laughs> so maybe, ooh, that, that could be cool. I love this label, let me cut it out. I like how it has these brads sort of uh, printed. And I'm thinking we could use real brads to go through these spots. So, how about I just ink it, surprise, surprise, and we glue it down and we see what we can do about these breads. Of course, if you would be adding a piece like this to your journal and you are concerned about not bulking it up too much then I would probably avoid using brads because uh, they can add definitely add a little bit of bulk to your journal but I love using them I love the look of them okay so let me take my pokey book and my pokey tool and just poke holes through these printed 
printed threads. And so we can go in with the real ones. So I'm just going to take two regular, uh, like these are like old metal brats. I mean, the color is supposed to be old metal. It's probably not old. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is what it looks like. And I think it's really cute and it, it, it has this 3D aspect and this, yeah, cute. Uh, and I like to keep, I want to keep adding and adding. So let me check the kit again and let's see what we could add. What would I like to do about the closure? Of course, you don't have to add a closure to your envelope but I just think I would like to add something something maybe one of these bugs uh, I think they might work okay let me try this oh or this circle one let me cut both of them and we will see so that's that's how i like to go about things just you know cut them out see if you like them if you do glue them down and uh be done with it because overthinking just can kill all the fun you know in creating <laughs> that's that's what i think at least okay so we have our two pieces that we can choose from to make a closure. I like the bag actually. So I just inked him up and I'm going to glue him. How do I want this? Like that? We're going this way maybe. So the bottom half of, of this bag will be glued down here like this he kind of looks like he's walking out of the pocket I think okay it's cute and while he is drying let's see if we want some more of this leaf trim here on the front so kind of we can tie the front and the back together and yes we do <laughs> we do want some more of this this is such a pretty stuff I got it on Aliexpress I got it in gold and in green as well and I've been obsessed with this I especially with gold I don't know I'm kind of I always love a touch of gold on my projects a touch of shiny <laughs> and and it works really beautifully especially with anything botanical as you know i do a lot of flowery stuff so it works perfect okay i think i need some more glue on this here Now I can just cut the excess off on both sides. Mm -hmm. Let's test our closure and it works and it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think we don't need much else to be honest this is how it looks on the back i really like it um i will just sew through this leaf trim uh so 
to reinforce it and to add a little bit of stitching on the front of the envelope as well. Okay guys, so I believe we are done with this project. I love it so much. Thank you to Victoria Designs for reaching out to me and for letting me have a play with this gorgeous kit and I will definitely be having more fun with it, maybe even more uh, working with digital ephemera videos on my channel with this kit. And uh, so here is what we've made. We've made an envelope. This is a window here. So you can see the pattern of the paper inside. We have a journaling spot. We have this beautiful gold leaf trim in an actual postage stamp. Love the idea of the magnifying glass. It, I think it really looks interesting. And then the front, so we have our leaf trim, we have our actual metal brads and a cute, cute closure. And when we open this up, we have the inside and we have our cute pocket with this little journaling spot that opens up for some secret journaling. So thank you so much for crafting with me today, guys. I appreciate your time and your support so, so much. Uh, and I hope you liked it. I hope you found some inspiration today. I hope you liked another envelope idea in addition to my uh, video, uh, to my previous video. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.